Welcome to Circle of Kings. Today, we'll talk about the reasons why leftover women will, unfortunately, remain unwanted and leftover. There is no denying that no matter what men and women achieve in this world, the basic and undisturbed laws of human nature remain unchanged. There are some things that were meant to be, and no matter how much men and women may try, in the end, the truth can only be what nature intended for men and women, their roles and the lives they lead. Statistics, data, and studies are useless to modern women. If you read their online rants about how older gentlemen favor younger women or that they'd prefer to be alone, you might think they're nuts. They feel we are speaking from an ideological standpoint, which is obviously not the case, but they are misinformed. Men are incredibly simple beings who only seek to be loved, admired, and respected. On the other hand, women constantly expect the very best from every male. Despite all the talk of equality, they don't actually try to achieve it. So, here are six reasons why leftover women will remain unwanted and leftover. Number 1. Women have set unrealistic standards for men. The typical woman desires a tall, gorgeous, wealthy, and successful man. She frequently fails, nevertheless, to develop and enhance her inner beauty, personality, and character. In the end, what is on the inside inevitably manifests on the outside, and 99% of the time this results in a self-centered, entitled woman who expects the guy to fulfill all of her wishes for the rest of his life. Feminism has paradoxically enslaved women while liberating males. Women are overrepresented in undervalued professions, are familiar with the harsh realities of the job market, and most importantly, hate the idea of getting older. Even though this last statement is quite telling, the majority of women find it difficult to accept it because of their social conditioning. Schools, the media, and the entertainment sector actively urge women to put off getting married and starting a family, while concurrently encouraging them to pursue other objectives such as pursuing an education, a career, or even many partners. Number 2. Women want everything, and they want it now. By the way, the phrase partners refers to one-night encounters and casual partnerships rather than committed ones. Social conditioning is very powerful and destructive. Modern women who fall for it will do anything to defend the values that are important to them. Actually, with little concern for the pleasure of women, they merely blend it with the knowledge they have gained from institutions, notable individuals, and multinational organizations. They're conditioned for instant gratification. They want instant happiness, instant wealth, instant this, and instant that. They want perfection in men while they hardly bring anything to the table except perhaps their physical selves. Number 3. A happy woman is a myth. Women in their mid-forties who are single and focused on their careers get the award for the unhappiest person. Even though they make about $500,000 a year, they aren't happy with their lives and aren't fulfilled. By the way, the information was collected from a female-focused newspaper. On the other side, the happiest man is a married man with a respectable job and a lovely partner. A married man aged 39 with one child, a wife who works part-time, and a family income of between $150,000 and $250,000 is also said to be the happiest person, according to the same article. Isn't this a clear difference? The fact that this woman's magazine validates what we already know about leftover women is really telling, even if the story doesn't take into account single guys making so much money. Women are unhappier than ever as a result of the struggle for women's liberation particularly in the personal and financial spheres. Modern women are free to express their opinions on the intimacy revolution, prostitution, and their freedom to be stigma-free. Megta doesn't even invite this kind of woman into their lives. They simply don't invite any women at all. The paradox of falling female happiness between 1970 and 2005 is an actual phrase that has been used by economists. Women's happiness has substantially decreased. These ladies don't actually know what they're talking about when they discuss patriarchy and male privilege. Number 4. Women believe men will never be good enough for them. 
They used to quote the new faith known as Wokeism on their early recordings, saying things like, men aren't good for nothing, and women can do it all by themselves. We don't need any men, you know. I have the right to pick and choose whom I want to sleep with. Men oppress women, etc. due to their rigid thought patterns. Modern women who opted for a career over marriage are annoying, disagreeable, and lousy dating candidates. They've been given the myth that they can climb the corporate ladders in their 20s, have a successful profession, have several guys hit on them, and finally settle down in their mid-30s, despite the fact that they believe that this helps them have respectable savings and know themselves better. The truth is different, though. Number 5. Women are not smart about money and finances. Women have so much emotional baggage, spend too much money, and live paycheck to paycheck that they are permanently unable to connect as a couple. When women struggle to locate a man who genuinely wants to be their partner in their mid-30s and early 40s, they turn to antidepressants and other legal medicines like alcohol and smoking. This does not, however, imply that males do not give them any attention. Some men will lust after any woman they can find, regardless of her kind. The more children and marriages she has, the more macho she becomes. Ideology triumphs over biology. In my opinion, if I had to summarize the thoughts of the remaining ladies, they ridicule guys, demonize them, and treat them with total disdain. Here are a few additional facts in case they still need them. When women have over 10 intimate partners, their desire to get married to a man is little more than a last-ditch effort. Pair bonding is virtually impossible, and research indicates that she probably contains DNA from several guys. How about this? Would you want the DNA of another man in your child? A person's surroundings in the family will constantly influence them. If the societal conditioning is combined with the lack of a positive mother figure or the presence of a promiscuous and slash or toxic mother, the woman is likely to be more damaged than a typical woman raised in a healthy family. If you ever come across conventional women, I mean the good old days, it's like going back in time. Sadly, they are not frequently seen. Even if they don't behave like it or don't have the qualities for it, leftover women and modern women as a whole desire to be treated like traditional ladies. They presumably never understood the meaning of the saying, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Number six, women aren't marriage material anymore. Even honest women acknowledge this sad truth and freely say that they would rather be correct and controlling than joyful. The remaining women put off having children, feel oppressed just for being female, and enjoy imposing their views while preaching tolerance and freedom. They seldom ever admit that being female has many advantages over being male. Working their way up the corporate ladder until their 40s, Modern women did everything they could to capture and possess the essence of power they believed would make them happy. However, they only realized much too late that they had a natural need to nurture families, settle down, have loving relationships with men, and become good mothers. Now that they've been exposed to so much feminist theory, they can't even confess that they should have obeyed the rules and lived in accordance with their feminine nature. Conventional gender roles may come to be accepted by women in the future as they learn how content they can be. All that's left to do is wait and watch. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content from Circle of Kings.